today we're going to make a car trash can. This is the top piece of the um, trash can. I'm using two pieces of waterproof canvas. Two pieces of waterproof canvas for the bottom. And two pieces of water resistant um, nylon ripstop for the lining. Okay, we're just going to sew down the both sides. I got the canvas right sides together. I'm going to back stitch. Doing a half an inch seam allowance. Back stitch. I'm going to go right across the bottom. I'm not going to tie off my threads. I'm just going to start. Oops. Back stitch, zoom across. I don't think my eyes are too good today. I'm not sewing too straight. Okay. Back stitch. going to do the same thing on the lining. Back stitch. This stuff is slippery. Back stitch. We're going to back stitch here because we're leaving an opening for the to turn it later. Back stitch. Back stitch. Back stitch, now cut all your threads. Now we're gonna square all the corners on the main and the lining and just stitch it down, same seam allowance. Back stitch. Now you're gonna wanna do that to all four sides two on this and two on I have all the pieces to the top pinned and ready to go. Okay, now we're just gonna sew down the sides. Just straight down the sides, half an inch. the other side and this is a free pattern from more me know she has a website and a YouTube channel and I just love this bag I'm making, this, making this for my aunt Now, I do something a little bit different on the inside because I have trouble turning it because of my arthritis. So I start down um, a little bit just to make it easier. I'd say a couple inches. Back stitch. I only do that on the inside. He's out of my way. Turn. Back 
can turn. And back stitch. Oops, I forgot to leave that one space for me. Well, you'll see the difference when I can't turn it so good. Now, I like to um, just clip in the corners. And then you can cut all this off to make it um, easier. So like an eighth of an inch. Looks like I should have used my walking foot. I'm getting some wonky stitches. And then I like to just snip in the middle. Okay, now we're gonna take our main, that's the waterproof canvas, and we're gonna put our top in. In the center, you're gonna center both pieces. Do a little snipper. And put this center. A little snip. Now stick it. The bag is um, wrong side out. This is wrong side. The right side's in here. You're going to put your handles inside and line up the little snips. And then you're going to base that in place. Okay, I've got the main fabric turned right side out now. I have my handles attached. Now I'm gonna take my lining and it's got the wrong side out, the right side's inside. And I'm gonna put it over top of the trash can bag. And this is nylon ripstop. It's great for domestic because um, it's a lot thinner than using. I did some with two layers of um, waterproof canvas and it worked, but it was a little tricky in spots. So I like this better. But I think I want to start doing my tops in a nice cotton. That would be nice. So you're just going to pin that all the way around and then stitch. I took off my extension table because it's easier um, to sew around. You're just going to sew all the way around half an inch. Just make sure everything's lined up. I like to go over my seams, side seams twice. It's just something I got in the habit of with everything. Just for a little reinforcement. Oh, and I still have that on wrong stitch length, so i got to take her down. Just make sure when you're doing it, you don't get it caught on your arm. Because that's what just happened to me. Now, I'm going to go around again because I did that at the wrong stitch length at the beginning. I'm at my seam. I'm going to go over, back, and over again. And you can pretty much feel everything inside if it's flat, which it is. So I'm going to go back over this part that I missed. Well, I didn't miss it, but I sewed it at the wrong stitch length. Until they're back stitched. Cut your threads. Now, I'm not going to trim this up here because I like when I top stitch to have that in to make extra sturdy. Okay. Remember, we saved that hole. I'm just going to reach in there and grab all the way to the top as much as I can and pull it through the hole. 
I call this birthing the bag. I think that cracks me up every time. But poke out all your corners get everything nice and flat and straight and make sure you didn't miss any seams and then I am going to top stitch all the way around the top okay I finger pressed the lining inside and clipped it so it would be easier for me. I'm going to increase my stitch length and I'm going to start right at that corner and then go around. And you can use a walking foot for this. Make sure your handles are up when you stitch. And I'm just going to go right on the edge. And I'm not going to back stitch. I'm going to pull my threads around to the other side. And guess what? The bobbin got me today. Okay, let's try this again. This time I'm going to keep the white in the top and I'm using a red bobbin for the lining side. Just go slow over those seams so you don't get any skip stitches. Okay, now we're coming to the front. So we're gonna wanna make sure that the, the <laughs> handles are up. Oh my gosh. And I'm gonna, this seam right here is really thick for some reason. So I am gonna hand stitch across it so I don't get any skip stitches. If I had my walking foot on, I wouldn't need to do that. But this was a quick unplanned project and I just didn't feel like. And make sure your lining's down in there when you do it. You can feel from this side. Now I'm coming back where I started. I'm just gonna go right over top of that stitching and then pull the threads to the other side. I'm gonna leave long tails because I'm gonna uh -huh, tie a knot on the inside. Now I'm just gonna stitch up the bottom and I'm gonna start before the opening to secure it. I'm just tucking the extra seam allowance in there. I'm gonna add one of my tags, fold it in half. I always forget to fold it in half. And clip that there. Okay, whoops. <laughs> All right, let's get this. This is gonna be in white thread cause I'm not digging for my red. I mean, it's gonna be for garbage. I don't think she's going to be that picky, I would hope. All right, I'm going to take this off because this has got to be straight. All right, something's coming loose. Oh, there we go. All righty. And backstitch. And there's my tag. Okay, 
Okay, now you're just gonna tuck your lining down in your bag. And there you go. If you're gonna use Velcro, I suggest using some heavy duty Velcro because I use some and I like to put all my stuff in the car, like my tissues and my wallet and stuff in there. I don't use mine for a trash can and it would break and fall down. So I'm gonna put snaps on mine. I'll put that in another video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button because I'll be doing weekly sewing videos. Thank you.